Hey everybody, it's Chainlink again. Uh, I'm just here to show you this new Airsoft sniper rifle that I just bought over at Cabela's. Or Bass Pro Shop, whichever one, you know. Same thing now. <laughs> Funny. Anyways, so this is the GF529 Bolt Action Airsoft. Uh, it is... This, this is actually not new. I got this at the Bargain Center. Clarify. That's why it's not doesn't have a new packaging, but it still has all the same stuff the guy said. So here it is. Okay. So it comes with the gun, magazine, speed loader. It's called belting instructions. So, if that's really it, then that should be it because that's what the dude said was in there. That's what he said it was. So, this is the speed loader. Pretty sure a lot of you know what that is. Your system to help you load. But it has markings here on how many BBs are actually in there. So, that's fun. And this is, um, since this is a sniper, it is, I am not sense, but it is spring-loaded. It's actually the bolt. There's a bolt right here. There's a safety right here. A safe fire. Where the magazine is. Or it goes. Take it somewhere over here. Over here. No iron sights. And so this gun right here is had some really good reviews. And I looked on it. And so it says it goes up to 475 FPS. Um, this is this made out of synthetic. It's spring powered, as I said. Um, but why I chose this is because, well, A, it's synthetic, B, it goes a long ways, and also because it has an aluminum barrel. Most of the other ones that I saw did not actually have that. So, that's all good. And I'm not sure about those. The quality, though, the quality sucks. I apologize for that. I really do. It's just... Crappy camera. So this is the the sling. That's what it's called. So here's the sling, and it has two uh, places you can put it on. Just two hooks things. So here's one of them uh, toward the butt of the gun. The other one is towards the end of the stock. It is it is adjustable. So. Kind of nice here. It has these little clip, little clip things. Oh, that's a target. <clears throat> so here is the magazine. Uh, I don't know how much it holds because it didn't specify on the box. Because it was from the bargain cave. Uh, I'm gonna load them by hand and see how many. Just one, two. Eleven. Seventeen, eighteen, 
19. Excuse me. No. There you go. 19. 20. 21. 22. 26, 27, okay, I'm about to get there, stay in there, <laughs> so bad at these, 28, This will be if I can actually get it in. Oh my god. Twenty nine. So I'm guessing it's either uh, you know a better idea I'm just gonna empty this out completely. And then, you know, me being <laughs> smart and all that. I'm going to use a speed loader just to put it all in until it won't fake all. If it doesn't, does what it just did do. Thank you. Can, can I put in? Why did it explode everywhere? That's not very nice. Why would it, why would it? How dare it, how dare it do that to me. Yeah, crap, no, get up. <sighs> I'm intelligent. Okay. Well, I'm gonna make the pile of the excess stuff that I didn't actually put in the magazine. Throw it out over there. Yeah. And then empty this, but I'm gonna count it because it stopped. It's a lot. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty. So thirty. I'm dumb. I, I probably knew that already. I just didn't actually think because I was being stupid. No, I knew that already, but you know. So obviously, take this, you load it up, and then you want to stick that end where the hole is right there, obviously. And you close it, hit click. And there's a little button right here, which I like, which I like, because it literally just drops out. That's nice. And so yeah, how you actually prime it, or you know, get the air compressed, because this is spring powered. You put it on safety, and you take that all out, put it back in, go to fire mode, and then you should fire. And it should work, and it just go pee way that way. But, you know, me being me, I probably shouldn't just dry fire. Yeah, I probably shouldn't just dry fire. But, <laughs> yeah! Or, or not, or not, or not. Maybe I didn't. Is that it? Did I go like that? No? What did I done do wrong? Because it said you put the safety all the way back. Fire. But it's not doing anything. Okay. Let me read the instructions real quick. Dad, stop. Why are you grouping? Ha! <laughs> Spanish side. Put the airsoft gun on safe. C step 3A. Holding the airsoft gun firmly, rotate the bolt handle E 
up and pull all the way back. Use straight stroke to prevent breakage. And turn the bolt handle to the original closed position with a smooth stroke. Put the airsoft gun fire to shoot. Well, well I'm going to put it down to safety. I'm going to rotate it and I'm going to pull it all the way back. Smooth, like that. And then. Okay, I'm going to have an issue here if you don't do anything. You sack of monkey crap. Anyways, so it's supposed to fire, and it says that, again, it'll fire up to 475 FPS, which is pretty good. And I have a red dot sight I'm going to put on here, and I'm going to set it in, and then I'm going to show you if this will actually work. I'm going to be angry if it doesn't work. Does the magazine by chance have to be in there? Is, is that a thing? Okay. Maybe. So. Safety. Nope. Anyways, so that's uh, that's that. I'll post up a video if it actually, you know, works. You little sack of sh shite. Maybe, maybe I was supposed to. That did not do. That did, that did not do that. Done do. That did not done do anything. Anyways, well, you know, I'm supposed to do that. It didn't, obviously, so. There's the gun and all its beauty. I'm going to add a red dot sight right there. Anyways, alright, I'll see you all later in a, in a different video. Bye bye.